So we've got an assortment of rings here, um, aluminum and copper rings. Some of them have slits in them, and some of them are bigger than others. This one in particular is very massive. So we're going to go jump them with the ring jumper. Also we have some liquid nitrogen to cool the rings down. So on the right here we have the adjustable core ring jumper and on the left we have the science first ring jumper which is not adjustable. So the science first ring jumper will make rings jump a lot higher than the adjustable core but you can't adjust it. And also this button as soon as you push it it will just send a pulse through the wires quickly and you can't really keep the current flowing through. So, all the way to the ceiling with this ring, with the massive ring that I was telling you about. It doesn't go as high because it's so massive. So this one's not very heavy, it's an aluminum ring, but it's about as um, thick, I guess, as the massive one. So that one goes very high, and this thin one, thin aluminum ring, also doesn't go very high. It's not very massive, but there isn't much current in there. And of course, ring with the slot in it doesn't do anything at all. So, now let's try the adjustable core the big aluminum ring, the smaller aluminum ring, um, aluminum ring with a slot in it, nothing, small aluminum ring. Alright, now let's take this medium aluminum ring, jump it a couple times. We'll drop this core down a little ways. Doesn't go as high. Try raising it up to its maximum height. And we'll try dropping it down very low. Alright, now let's set it to a medium height, jump it, see how high it goes. And then let's take that ring and cool it down in our liquid nitrogen. Take a couple minutes, well, a minute. Just wait for the nitrogen to stop boiling, and then you'll know if the ring is at the right temperature. Grab it out of there, preferably not with your bare hands. And it goes, let's say, at least twice as high. Um, another thing, we have this basically copper wire, which is too small to jump. Oh, well, it jumped up over the top of that. But if we raise this up, if we hold this down, oops. All right, if we raise this up, Tighten it a little bit better this time. And then hold this down. Oh, well. 
we can get it to come to an equilibrium position. But it'll get hot very quickly, so you don't want to hold that power down for too long. All right, let's try this small aluminum ring with the science first ring jumper. And then cool this one down in liquid nitrogen. Just to see how that small aluminum ring will work on this more powerful ring jumper. Very nice. Let's try that one more time. And there you have it.